so far we have covered from this concise physics class 10th book from chapter number calorimeter we have already understood the meaning of concept of heat unit of heat concept of temperature then unit of temperature and what are the factors affecting the quantity of heat then we also saw the difference between heat and temperature in very detailed and we also covered thermal or heat capacity right so we have covered up to here now in this video we are going to cover the next topic which is specific heat capacity right this is very easy if you understood this thermal or heat capacity then it is more or less the same concept anyway i will be explaining once again so don't worry about that right so we are going to start specific heat capacity and we'll explain the unit of specific heat capacity as well right so let me explain this so friends let me just show you my previous notes of heat capacity now here if you see the heat capacity of a body is the amount of heat right here the keyword is amount i am not mentioning the amount in terms of one unit two unit or n unit right so the heat capacity of a body is the amount of heat energy required to raise its temperature by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin right this is heat capacity now if we see the definition or understanding of specific heat capacity this will be heat capacity of a body let's say this is a body and the heat capacity of sorry heat capacity of a body is expressed by a unit mass okay so here the keyword is unit we are talking about one unit only right and this is denoted by as i mentioned earlier with a symbol c right so let me just write this so heat capacity of a body when expressed when expressed for the unit unit mass right earlier it was any amount but here in case of a specific heat capacity this will be the unit mass is called specific heat capacity specific heat capacity all right and this is for what this is for the substance of that body right specific heat capacity of that substance substance of that body i mean for which we are talking about the a uh, calculation of that is specific heat capacity right and is denoted by symbol c so we can say is depends upon the substance if we have a two different bodies one is let's say copper one is uh, let's say iron then of course the specific heat capacity of these two bodies are different so the heat specific heat capacity is the characteristic of substance and is different for different bodies right so specific heat capacity of a substance is defined as the heat capacity per unit mass of a body of that substance right so if we try to write the formula for this so this is written as specific heat capacity heat capacity c is equal to heat capacity heat capacity heat capacity we have covered in our last video heat capacity of body 
which is denoted as c dash remember let me show you and i mentioned that this is very important right see heat capacity of a body c dash which is q by delta t right where q is the amount of heat energy supplied or received so this is q and delta t is the rise in temperature that means the temperature difference right so from here we can put the value of c dash anyway so specific heat capacity c is equal to heat capacity of a body c dash oblique mass of the body which is m right and we already know heat capacity heat capacity c dash is equal to what q by delta t right i have just shown you here see heat capacity c dash is equal to q by delta t and i have mentioned this this is important right so you see because of this formula i am going to derive another formula of a specific heat capacity so heat capacity c dash is equal to q by delta t now if we put this value we can say specific heat capacity c is equal to q by m into delta t and this is the formula of specific heat capacity let me write it here specific heat capacity and this is sch right so this is the formula of specific heat capacity now in an, another word just for your understanding let me write the complete definition so that there will be no ambiguity or no confusion right so let me just write in blue color so this will help you to uh, make a difference in this coloring right so the definition is the specific i am just writing in some different word right in other word so specific heat capacity sch of a substance substance is the amount of of heat energy heat energy require to raise the temperature of unit mass of unit mass of that substance right i'm just writing in another word through 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin so we can say specific heat capacity c is equal to amount of heat energy supplied heat energy supplied oblique mass into rise in temperature right so this is the another way of understanding the specific heat capacity basically here the concept is we are talking about one unit of mass right so from this equation let's say this is equation number 1 from this equation we can say the heat energy required to raise the temperature of body this is mass m or the temperature by delta t or k so we can write this as q is equal to m into c into delta t and that is in joule 
right. So, this is the formula we can derive from this equation, equation number 1. So, here we can see once again that quantity of heat energy absorbed to increase the temperature of a body depends upon three factor. One is mass of the body, second one is the increase in temperature of the body and the material or substance of the body, right. So, this is this is Q directly proportion to M, this is Q directly proportion to delta T and this one is Q directly proportion to C, right. So, this is I have explained in our earlier video. You can find the detail in the description, right. So, this is what he was trying to explain here where is mentioning Q is equal to MC delta T, right. So, this is about specific heat capacity. Now, let us see unit of specific heat capacity. So, in SI unit, specific heat capacity, specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram per kilogram per Kelvin, right. We can write this as joule kg to the power minus 1 and k minus 1 or we can write this as joule per kilogram per kilogram per degree Celsius, right. We are just converting the Kelvin with Celsius, okay. So, this we can write as J per kg, kg to the power of minus 1 and then per degree we can write this as dot then c to the power minus 1, right. Now, the another unit, let me write another unit, another unit of uh, uh, specific heat capacity, see that is calorie per gram, so gram to the power minus 1 per degree Celsius and if we write, if we talk about kilocalorie, then kilocalorie per kg, per kg, per degree Celsius, right. So, if we try to relate these unit, then this will become 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius is equal to 1 kilocalorie per kg per Kelvin, right. So, this we can say or we can relate this as, relate this as 1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius is equal to 1 kilocalorie per kg per Kelvin and if we put the value here, so this will become 4.2 into 10 to the power 3 joule per kg per Kelvin, right. So this you require to memorize, right. So this is the one of the important formula you require to memorize right so if somebody says so if we talk about specific heat capacity of copper so we should also memorize this as this will become 0.4 joule per gram per kelvin and this means that heat required to raise the temperature 
of one gram of copper by one kelvin or one degree celsius is 0.4 joule right if somebody says shc that is specific heat capacity of copper is 0.4 joule then that means that one gram of copper to increase the temperature by one kelvin or one degree celsius is 0.4 joule right let me just write this also so if specific heat specific heat capacity specific heat capacity of copper if is given that is 0.4 joule per gram per kelvin it means that it means that heat energy heat energy require to raise the temperature raise the temperature of what of that copper of 1 gram 1 gram of copper okay so here the keyword is 1 gram so 1 gram of copper by by what by 1 kelvin by 1 kelvin or 1 degree celsius is 0.4 joule right so here the keyword is 1 gram of copper increase the temperature by 1 kelvin or 1 degree celsius is 0.4 right so this is the note just for your understanding because this is going to be used when you are going to solve the numericals right so this will help you to understand the numericals as well right so this is all about unit of specific the next topic is relationship between the heat capacity and a specific heat capacity so this is very easy is just a, a one liner topic where if you can see in my earlier video i have mentioned that uh, when i was explaining the specific heat capacity specific heat capacity c is equal to heat capacity of that body c dash oblique mass of the body m right so this is the formula we read earlier now if we try to understand using this formula so this will become uh, we can we can so if we try to understand this formula we will try to find a relationship between the heat capacity and specific heat capacity right so let me just write the formula first so specific heat capacity c is equal to heat capacity of the body which is c dash upon mass of the body m right so we can write this also as heat capacity c dash is equal to mass which is m into specific heat capacity c right we can just cross multiply so this is the formula we require to learn it right in terms of understanding the relationship between the heat capacity and specific heat capacity right so this is the very small topic which has been covered in this book where they are explaining the relationship between these two you can understand if you are good in understanding this that is also fine this is also fine it totally depends upon how well you are able to understand and learn so friends next topic is distinction between the heat capacity and specific heat capacity i have explained both the topics in very detail so i will try to explain this by showing the notes what i have explained you earlier so this so that you will able to explain in much better way right you can find the detail of these notes 
in description where I have mentioned the uh, video link as well, right? So, the very first difference is in case of uh, heat capacity or thermal heat capacity or heat capacity is it is the amount it is the amount of heat energy required to raise its temperature by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin right so it is just the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of entire body right we are not talking about any unit here right it is the it is talking about the entire body by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin whereas in case of if you see uh, the specific heat capacity i have explained you we are talking about the unit mass right so it is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of unit mass right in case of a specific c is written as a specific so you have to be very specific that is unit mass right so it is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one unit of unit mass of the body by one degree celsius right so this is about a specific very first difference right so here i have mentioned also the specific heat capacity as hc of a substance is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of unit mass of that substance through 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin right so here we are talking about a unit mass but in case of a heat capacity we are talking about the entire body so this is the very first difference i have explained you so let me just write this quickly so in case of a heat capacity the very first point or very first difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity is the it is the it is the amount it is the amount of heat energy heat energy required okay heat energy required to raise to raise the temperature to raise the temperature of let me write in different color of here the keyword is entire body entire body right by 1 degree celsius by 1 degree celsius whereas in case of a specific heat capacity it is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature raise the temperature of now here the keyword is unit mass or one unit right so here we are talking about unit mass right unit mass of body by one degree celsius right so this is the very first difference now the second difference if you are talking about in case of a heat capacity it depends both on substance and mass of the body right so more the mass of the body more is it heating capacity so let me write this as well so in case of a heat capacity it depends it depends both on the substance right it is if it's copper or if it's iron or what right this totally depends upon the substance and mass right it totally depends upon substance and mass of the body of the body more the mass okay if the mass is more for example if you are 
having a 1 kg of water or 2 kg of water or 3 kg of water then the heating capacity will be different right so more the mass of the body why i have written more 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 the mass of the body more is its heat capacity right so it totally depends upon the substance and mass right whereas in case of a specific heat it doesn't it does not depends on the mass of the body right it does not depends on the mass of the body on the mass of the body रुण जब दस मिनट के लिए बस टुल्लू बंद करते हैं मेरा टॉपिक खत्म हो रहा है बट दिस इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सब्सटेंस राइट बट इट इज द इट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी राइट व्हाट डू मीन बाय कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी लेट मी जस्ट एक्सप्लेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक property property of the substance of the substance of the body what does it mean it means remember i have explained the copper example let me just show you so basically in case of a copper if you can see this if specific heat capacity of a copper is 0.4 joule per gram per kelvin it means the heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of copper by 1 kelvin or 1 degree celsius is 0.4 joule means here you are talking about the characteristic of that copper so this is about the characteristic property of that substance right now the third point is is very simple we know that heat capacity c dash is equal to q by delta t right and this is also equal to mass which is m into specific heat capacity c whereas in case of specific heat capacity we can say specific heat capacity c is equal to q oblique m delta t and this we can also write heat capacity c dash is oblique mass m right we have already explained this formula i am just writing here as a difference and the fourth one is very simple you just write the unit so heat capacity unit is joule per kelvin whereas in case of a specific heat capacity is joule per kg per kelvin right so this is my fourth and last difference between heat capacity and specific heat capacity